Hey y'all, check out this video clip from a few weeks ago, okay, that I put out based on a dream I had of Nancy Pelosi. And then on the other end, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna talk about how I think uh, this is happening. This could be happening right now with the events that took place at the Capitol building on January 6th. Check this out. Hey everyone, Stephen Powell here. I wanted to share with you uh, this recent vision that I had of Nancy Pelosi is that I saw Nancy Pelosi and she's wearing these glasses and she's holding a phone in her hand. Now the phone didn't look like an iPhone, um, like a smartphone. It didn't look like, you know, any normal kind of phone. It actually looked like a pay phone. You know how you can identify like a pay phone phone? It's black. And it's kind of like that, that standard issued, you know, like phone, black phone look. And it's usually got like a silver, you know, like chrome looking cord, uh, you know, coming out of it, I guess, to protect that cord. I guess that's the way they made them, you know, from, from, from getting cut, right? And she's holding a payphone in one hand and she's got these glasses on. And these glasses, they look kind of weird, okay, to be honest with you. They don't look like normal glasses. Number one, they look real cheap, almost like toy glasses. Okay, and number two, they didn't have normal lenses in them okay normally you can see like the sheen from from a lens that you could see through right uh but these almost look like it had plastic over the eyes and they were gray looking okay and uh i was wondering how she could even see out of them you know um so anyways i saw that and as i as i focused my spiritual eyes more in the vision i saw these things that were dangling off both the phone and the glasses. And as I focused even more, I saw that they were price tags, okay? They were price tags that were hanging off of both. And I couldn't make out a price on any of them, but I made out the words made in China on both the price tags, okay? I want her eyes and on her ear, okay? And uh, then the scene switched and I saw her actually being arrested, okay? I saw her being arrested. I saw police officers walk into her home, slap the cuffs on her behind her back, her, her, her back. And I saw them escort her out her front door down like a few steps and then out into the parking lot. And then right as she's walking out of the house, down those steps, I see an officer grab her by the hair and yank. And I see all of her hair come off and she's completely bald. And it's actually revealed that she has a wig. Okay, in this vision. All right, there you have it. That was from December 17th is when I officially released that video on my YouTube channel. It came out the next day, December 18th on Facebook. Uh, but you heard it. I had this vision. I saw Nancy Pelosi. She had a pay phone. She had sunglasses on that looked really, really weird, really, really fake. Uh, hanging from the pay phone in the sunglasses was price tags and they said made in china and there was a price for both of them so there's a price for her voice there's a there's a price for you know uh her her, her vision you know um this is all prophetic right and of course it's tied to china obviously and that's that that's pretty that's pretty clear but then the scene switches and she's being arrested and as she's being taken out in handcuffs her hair is removed and the bible says that uh, the hair is like a glory for, for women, right? So we want to use scripture many times to interpret dreams and visions. So I said at the time, is there going to be something that happens that cause, causes Nancy Pelosi's glory to be stripped, her power to be stripped from her, for her to be exposed? So here's what I'm, I'm hearing, you guys. I'm hearing that I'm going to put up a... a uh, screenshot okay of like a tweet that was sent to me right here bam and i'm hearing that nancy's pelosi's laptop was taken in the raid okay um the raid or whatever that happened at the capitol building and i'm also being told that they've proven that several of these members of congress whenever they were in session on january 6 were actually connected with their laptops to chinese operatives now, since we've had this media blackout, the social media blackout the last few days, I've gone to Google, I've gone to Yahoo, I've gone to Twitter, um, I've gone to 
all these different places to look for that information, okay, about uh, the members of Congress being directly connected, okay, to the Chinese operatives during that, that session. And I can't find it anywhere. It's like they have scrubbed everything. Um, but I heard it from someone somewhere uh, on, on a video, so I know that that's the information that's circling right now, okay? Is that they're saying that these people were on the line with Chinese operatives on January 6th, okay, when the, when, the, when the electoral college votes were being ratified by Congress, certified. You know, so is that what my dream was talking about? Was my dream talking about some sort of exposure event for Nancy Pelosi and these people, and, and they're saying that her laptop was taken. Has it been proven now that Nancy Pelosi was committing treason, being directly connected to China during that session, okay, of Congress, and is she about to be arrested, and that's why she's going after Trump, trying to trying to impeach him, okay, by Monday. I'm making this video on Saturday, by this coming Monday, and, and why they're doing such a crazy media, social media blackout, banning everybody, kicking everybody off. Is that what's going on right now? But I had that vision several weeks ago, released it Dece December 17th and 18th, and I think there's a good chance it could be coming to pass, okay? So continue to pray, saints. Continue to pray. I mean, we've been praying this for years, okay? God exposed the corruption. Exposed the corruption, okay? But we haven't just been praying expose the corruption. We're praying drain the swamp. And that's a term for, you know, let justice come. Don't let the innocent go free, or excuse me, the, the innocent go to jail and the guilty go free. That's what we've seen more than ever before during the Trump era of exposure. We've seen criminals. We've seen that our politicians, many of them are like mob bosses. It's ridiculous, you know? And they go free and the innocent people are being harassed and their business is taken from them. This is unjust, all right? So, you know, I'm continuing to pray for exposure, but I'm praying for justice as well. And how that's all gonna balance out, you know, with the, uh, with how our nation needs to repent and turn back to God, I don't exactly exactly know, okay? I know this, there will never be justice. There will continue to be injustice, okay? And, and, and terrible things like that. You see, injustice is evil in God's eyes. I know that will continue to happen in this nation. We'll continue to see it paraded out in front of us, right in our faces. I mean, these Democrats are rubbing it in our noses. Okay, we'll continue to see that, I believe, unless we see a nation uh, turn, turn back to God. But God can also deliver merciful judgment as well, okay? And I'm praying for that as well. Mercy is when God does something and you don't deserve it, okay? It, it's when he, he pardons you. It's when he, he, he does something for you. It's grace too. But, uh, but mercy is when you deserve, okay, to have this happen as a nation. But God blesses you even when you don't deserve it, right? And I'm praying for merciful justice right now um, for, for our nation. So anyways, just wanted to present this to you. I think this, this vision may be about ready uh, to come to pass and is coming to pass right now. God bless you. Hey, Steve Bow here. I want to thank you for watching this video today. Real quick, I want to ask you to do two things. Number one, I'm sure many of you guys have heard about the media purge going on right now. There may not be, in the days to come, a very easy way for us to communicate and stay in contact. So I want you to sign up for our email list, okay, so we can stay in touch no matter what, okay? The link for that should be in the description of this video. Number two, I want to ask you to consider sewing a one-time tax deductible seed or becoming a monthly partner with our ministry. We can't do what we do without the faithful and generous support of our friends and partners. So if the Lord would move on you to do that, we would love to partner with you. We would love to uh, make that happen, that connection. So there's links in the description of this video for that as well. You can give securely a tax deductible seed and uh, just be led of the spirit. If the Lord doesn't move on your heart, that's fine too. We trust the Lord. We believe he's going to provide for all of our needs. He's going to increase us in what we're doing with our mission. But maybe you're called to be a part of that. We just want to make a point of contact.